is the space elevator. That's right, see, it's the official space elevator. And I'm about to show you why, because yes, it does go in outer space. It's here at RIT. You're not going to embark on a mission to outer space. Close the door. Bye, Jim. All right, now we are going to go to outer space. Here we go. Two speed indoor. I like that. Now this is how you go to outer space. Of course, there's the space heater, and this is outer space. We are opening the door to outer space. See, this is the door to outer space. And there it is. That is outer space. Now to go back down, you have to close this door. You have to hold the button down to close the door. We are now closing the door on outer space. Now we will go back to Earth. And let's do the cab view of this amazing space elevator. It's very small. Look at that light. I like that light. And on the space elevator, you must close the door when you exit. In case you experience any problems, here's a phone back to Houston. Let's close the door and go back down. Here we go. I do like that two-speed door. All right, now let's go back down. After we look at the fixtures, this elevator can take 2,500 pounds up to outer space. Here we go. And here we are. Who's that? Now we will close the space elevator. Alright, and that's it. But before we go, you saw the space elevator. How do you get to outer space if there's a fire? Ooh, that fire looks like it's getting close to that guy. Here's another way to outer space. As you can see, it's a long way up. So let's call this the man-powered space elevator. We are going to go up the man-powered space elevator. Here we go. And outside of this door is outer space and there's public safety.